G'day viewers, back again on the mountain. It's um, pretty early in the morning. Should look, uh, looks like it's going to be a beautiful day though. Nice weather. Nice autumn weather. Pretty chill. And we are putting a roof on today. So in the last video we got a couple of pieces of iron up to see what it looked like and it looks pretty good as far as I'm concerned. Um, those are some of the larger sheets that we had, it's second-hand steel um, from different sources, just stuff that I've picked up. And um, yeah, those are the first few larger sheets that went up pretty easily, so we've got to fix them down. But before we do, we sort of have to organise what we're doing with these smaller sheets. Here comes the old man. The smaller sheets are going to make more of a sort of patchwork roof so we decided that it would be better to um, clean them up a bit fix them together make some longer sheets down on the ground before taking them up and fix them to the timber structure so yeah we'll get into that have a look see how we go So yeah, here's my supply of second-hand roofing iron and one of our many piles of crap we have around the place that we thought would be useful. Um, I did actually have it stacked up neatly, but I've just been rummaging through it this morning, seeing what's available. So yeah, the idea is to cut out what I can and um, Connect them back together in useful sheets for the structure. Lots of iron here, it's just a matter of what you're going to do with it. Let's get into it. Okay, that's one done. Now to make about 30 more. Okay guys, I've got some pieces cut up. I just laid them out on the ground to get a bit of a better view of it. The idea is to screw them together there and there to make one long sheet. Should work out pretty good. Just got that um, steel pipe in the center just to help me eyeball um, straightening them out. It doesn't have to be like super exact, but as long as they all line up correctly and they're not out of order. Pointing out the side anyway. So yeah, let's um, put some small fix uh, metal fixing screws that were donated to the cause by a friend of ours. So yeah, I'll join them together and we'll see if we can make a, a nice long sheet to go right across the shelter there. Just 
the piece of wood that I've been using as a spacer to make sure the, the two rows of screws are the same distance apart for every join. Again, it's not exact, but the wood is this. It's a good length. Cool, so I've got a couple of sheets together. I've laid them out here, you can see what I'm trying to accomplish now. There's a full span sheet there, and that is joined there, and down here. Oops, and that one is a half span. I'm going to have to make a fair few of those as well because I've sort of run out of longer sheets to work with. And these component sheets here are 180. So three will give me a full span with a little bit of overlap. And these ones are 140. So with a little bit of overlap, they'll give me half span sheets and they'll meet on that middle rafter there. But that'll be fine. Probably easier to work with even. So yeah, I'm going to keep working for the next few hours, cutting up more of this second-hand iron and um, fixing together sheets, half-lengths and full-lengths when I can. Then the old man will be back down in a couple of hours. I think he's up making a log-lifting attachment for his bulldozer, welding something up. So yeah, I'm going to keep going, making these sheets, and we can get some more up this afternoon. Yep. Feel pretty solid, does it? Yeah, it does. 
no diagonals in it yet mm. either. Not too bad for something we pulled out of our butts. Okay guys, day two of roofing. Um, I've officially got about half of it done. And it's looking pretty good. You can see the, the first couple spanned quite a few of the purlins. And then it gets a bit more patchwork over in this direction. You can see where we've joined them with the screws. So they can join between purlins. But yeah, it's looking pretty good, looking pretty level. And I kind of like the patchwork effect. We've got um, four more half span sheets that I've made up there ready to go up. And um, just working on another full span one because I've only got short lengths of steel left now, so I'm going to have to patch pretty much five together to, to um, make it span the entire length but it'll be alright, it'll work and it'll continue my Frankenstein aesthetic so yeah, more work to do, let's get into it, see if I can finish it here we are putting the final couple of sheets on that I put together Pretty excited, it's turned out pretty good, lined up pretty well. Gonna have to trim a couple of things, but it'll be cool. I'm not sure whether I will trim the front and the back. I kind of like the way that it looks. Yeah, it is what it is. It's made out of spare parts. It's a bit rough around the edges, but it's functional. That was the entire goal. Let's see, I haven't decided yet. Well, there we go guys. Finally got all the roof on. And I think it looks really good. It's um it's not quite finished. I need to trim up the front and um, the beams on the side there and drown the back and put the gutter on and everything but essentially the majority of it's done I've just spent the last few hours up on top putting in some silicon it's going to need a lot of silicon in the old screw holes and things you can see some silicon coming through those holes I'll trim those off when they dry but other than that I'm pretty happy with that it's um, the whole thing's turned out really well. The next step is to oh, do those things I said with the roof and then put in the floor. Hopefully get that done by next weekend and then I'll be moving in. So yeah, that'll be it for this video guys. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe if you, if you enjoy what we're doing here. Yeah, I'll see you next time. Peace out, guys.